Have you ever wondered how a massive airplane, weighing thousands of pounds, manages to soar through the sky with apparent ease? This question may have crossed your mind as you've watched an aircraft lift off the ground, defying gravity as it navigates the vast, open skies. The answer to this question lies in the principles of flight, a fascinating field of study that combines physics, meteorology, and engineering. At the heart of these principles are four fundamental forces that govern flight, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Together, they create a delicate balance that allows an aircraft to take off, cruise at high altitudes, and land safely. Let's start with lift, the force that counters weight and allows an aircraft to rise. It's created by the difference in air pressure above and below the wings. When the pressure below the wings is greater than the pressure above, lift is generated, propelling the aircraft upwards. Weight, on the other hand, is the force that pulls the aircraft downward due to gravity. It's the force that lift must overcome for an aircraft to ascend. Then we have thrust, the force that propels an aircraft forward. It's generated by the engines, which push out air or exhaust at high speed. The reaction to this action, according to Newton's third law of motion, creates a forward force, thrust. Lastly, there's drag, the force that resists the motion of the aircraft through the air. It's a force that pilots must constantly contend with and manage to keep the aircraft moving forward. Understanding these four forces and how they interact is key to understanding flight. It's a complex interplay of physics and engineering that has enabled us to conquer the skies and traverse the globe. Over the next few minutes, we're going to delve into these principles and unravel the mystery of flight. So buckle up, sit back and prepare for a fascinating journey into the enigma of flight. To understand flight, we must first understand the forces at play. Let's start with the four fundamental forces that make flight possible. Lift, weight, thrust and drag. Lift, in its simplest form, is the force that opposes gravity and allows an aircraft to rise into the air. It's created by the air moving over and under the wings of an aircraft, with the top surface of the wing designed to curve more than the bottom surface. This design difference causes the air above the wing to move faster than the air below it, resulting in a lower pressure on top and thus creating lift. Weight, on the other hand, is the force of gravity pulling the aircraft down towards the Earth. It's determined by the mass of the aircraft and the acceleration due to gravity. In order for an aircraft to ascend, the lift must be greater than the weight. Conversely, for it to descend, the weight must be greater than the lift. Let's move on to the horizontal forces. Thrust is the force that propels an aircraft forward. It's generated by the aircraft's engines, whether they are jet engines or propellers. The engines push air backwards, and using Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The aircraft is propelled forward. Finally, we have drag. Drag is essentially the air resistance that an aircraft encounters as it moves through the atmosphere. There are two types of drag, parasitic and induced. Parasitic drag is the resistance caused by the shape of the aircraft and its components, while induced drag is created by the generation of lift itself. Together, these four forces interact and balance each other out to control the motion of an aircraft. When the aircraft is in steady flight, lift equals weight and thrust equals drag. To climb, an aircraft needs more lift and thrust. To descend or slow down, it needs more weight and drag. These forces are constantly in play during flight, each one counteracting the other. Understanding these forces and how they interact is fundamental to understanding the principles of flight. Lift is perhaps the most crucial force when it comes to flight. To understand the principle of lift, we need to delve into Bernoulli's principle, which states that as the speed of a fluid increases, its pressure decreases. Now, let's consider an airplane's wing, also known as an airfoil. The airfoil is not a simple flat surface, but is designed with a unique shape, curved on the top and flatter on the bottom. When the airplane moves, air splits at the front or leading edge of the wing. Some air goes over the top of the wing and some goes beneath it. Due to the wing's special shape, the air traveling over the top moves faster than the air moving underneath the wing. According to Bernoulli's principle, the faster moving air over the top creates an area of lower pressure. On the other hand, the slower moving air beneath the wing creates an area of higher pressure. This difference in pressure creates an upward force on the wing, 
This force is what we call lift. It counteracts the weight of the airplane, enabling it to rise into the air. So the unique shape of the wing and the way air moves around it creates lift, allowing the airplane to rise. While lift gets the airplane off the ground, it's the forces of thrust and drag that determine how far, fast and smoothly the airplane flies. Let's delve deeper into these compelling forces. Engines are the heart of an airplane, providing the thrust necessary to propel it forward. Thrust not only overcomes the airplane's weight to lift off, but also battles the resistance known as drag. It's a constant tug of war between these forces. A fascinating dance that keeps the airplane sailing through the sky. Drag is that pesky factor that resists the airplane's forward motion. It's like trying to walk against a strong wind. The wind pushes against you, making it harder to move. Now, drag comes in two main forms, parasitic and induced. First, we have parasitic drag, which includes form drag and skin friction. Form drag is due to the airplane's shape and size. Just like a larger person feels more wind resistance, a larger airplane experiences more form drag. Skin friction, on the other hand, is due to the air's viscosity or stickiness, creating a layer of slow-moving air, called the boundary layer, on the airplane's surface. Then we have induced drag, which comes into play when the airplane generates lift. As the airplane lifts, the pressure difference between the top and bottom surfaces of the wings creates wingtip vortices, which in turn generate induced drag. So, to keep an airplane in flight, it's a constant balancing act between these four forces.